well it was a match that was being played outside the cricket field but everybody had their eyes glued to it yes i'm talking about the bcci election or you may call it the selection for the important bcci positions uh, well uh, the nominated uh, candidates have been selected and they've also filed their nominations and uh, majority or everybody amongst them will be elected unopposed and uh, you have a new bcci president now replacing saurav ganguly will be roger binney former india all rounder and a 1983 world cup winner that is the big take uh, roger binney will be the new bcci president with jay shah continuing as the secretary of the bcci for the next 3 years that's the term of or tenure of uh, the bcci officials five office bearers were picked plus one ipl chairman so ipl chairman we all know it's uh, another lucrative uh, position and that has been handed to arun dhumal the former in the last uh, regime in the last bcci regime arun dhumal was the treasurer and now he will take over as the as the ipl chairman another lucrative uh, position because we all know how important and big ipl has now become uh, i well there's this there's already a two uh, month window and uh, we are expecting that the that the window uh, will now be increased to 3 months uh, you already have 10 teams playing the ipl competition and uh, that is one of the reasons why the ipl uh, will uh, the the duration of the ipl will uh, be increased now Roger Binney as the president, Jay Shah as the board secretary. Treasurer is uh, from Mumbai. That is Ashish Shalar, um, a BJP heavyweight uh, from Maharashtra in Mumbai, who had also uh, filed his nomination or who was uh, who was planning to contest uh, for the post of uh, MCA president. That is Mumbai Cricket Association president. But now that he has been picked. as the treasurer of the bcci he will have to give up his candidature as the mca president uh, where he was uh, basically he was fighting head on with the former india batsman uh, sandeep patel uh, who had decided to contest elections uh, as the uh, for the post of mca president so ashish shalar will now be the next Uh, BCCI treasurer and uh, Rajiv Shukla continues to be the vice president of this BCCI. Although uh, Rajiv Shukla wanted uh, a, a better position, better in the sense he wanted uh, something like IPL chairman, uh, which he was earlier uh, as well. Earlier he he had uh, uh, he had led. Uh, uh ipl uh, as is uh, in in the capacity as uh, as commissioner or chairman of uh, the ipl as they call it now and um, joint secretary will be uh, from assam that is devajit saikya so uh, it was a power struggle and uh, it has finally now come to an end today uh, there were a series of meetings in fact last week also in delhi there was a meeting where all the important members uh, some of the uh, important state association uh, members and uh, bcci heavyweights were present in delhi and uh, people were heard and uh, yesterday in fact last evening uh, all these uh, selected uh, uh, officials were called to mumbai including saurav ganguly uh, who on 18th of uh, this month that is 18th of october uh, will be the former bcci president so all these uh, people were there and uh, after a late night uh, meeting series of meetings late night it was decided uh, that who the office bearers and ipl chairman will be now there is still one important position that uh, is left that is ipl chairman who is going to be the next ic or, or rather icc chairman uh, so who uh, that person is going to be will it be saurav ganguly at this point in time it looks slightly difficult if saurav ganguly will be the next icc chairman uh, uh, because you know he perhaps uh, would feel a little disappointed saurav ganguly uh, because uh, you know 
because he perhaps is the only person who's been left out uh, if you see if you look at uh, the last regime jaisha has retained his position as uh, board secretary although uh, initially uh, last couple of weeks last one month uh, ever since the supreme court uh, uh, had given its order uh, its ruling that uh, the uh, you know the office bearers had uh, had uh, made a judgment to amend the existing constitution of the Uh, of the BCCI, especially with regards to the tenure guidelines uh, of the office bearers, uh, you know, it was it seemed as if uh, Jay Shah might just go for uh, BCCI president, but he has chosen to retain his position as the board secretary. Uh, Rajiv Shukla has retained his position as. Uh, as uh, as the vice president of bcci arun dhumal has been elevated if you can say that uh, to a more uh, lucrative position as ipl chairman um, so uh, saurav ganguly might just feel a little disappointed uh, but i believe that he must have been given a feelers that uh, he he was he was being isolated or uh, that a new dispensation uh, will will come in the, uh, will come in the bcci so that's the latest that we have so what exactly is going to happen now that all these uh, office bearers have been selected or have been uh, decided now they have already filed their nominations today uh, in mumbai now for the, the last date to for filing the nomination is uh, 12 that is tomorrow and thereafter on 13th uh, of this month uh, there will be scrutiny of the candidates uh following which the uh, the eligible candidates will be announced uh, and then the following day if there is an a, a candidate or an a, a candidate who feels that he wants to withdraw his uh, nomination can do so on the following day but that is unlikely to happen so these elections just like uh, a lot of elections that we've seen in the past uh, uh all these office bearers that we are talking about will be elected unopposed which means there will be no election on 18th of october that is the date when uh, bcci will have its annual general body meeting and officially the new regime of bcci the people who will run the board and indian cricket for the next 3 years will uh, come into power uh, it's it's a you know uh, it's an important uh, three year period uh, india is to host uh, the odi world cup uh, next year that is uh, in 2023 there's asia cup uh, there are uh, of course not in india but still uh, ipl has now uh, become so big so it's going to be important three year uh, three years uh, for the for the new office bearers of the ipl arun dhumal has also landed up uh, with an, a lucrative uh, position in ipl commissioner or ipl chairman as they call it now and uh, as i said one position is still vacant hopefully by 18th when the agm happens uh, 18th of october hopefully uh, the bcci would have zeroed in on their candidate for the uh, for the or the person who they are going to recommend for the icc chairmanship so that's going to uh, that's the uh, last uh, perhaps the last uh, option for saurav ganguly but as i said earlier it looks a little little unlikely at the moment that saurav ganguly uh, will get that position as the icc chairman that's it from me and uh, if you haven't subscribed to sports today do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you get the notifications whenever we go live or uh, we have an update for you you get to know it there and then thank you